Now, I'm a pretty terrible singer, but when I'm composing, I always like to hear things, so I record my own private demos when I'm doing vocal music. A drop of burning gold shining in the sky, marking out the way to Bethlehem. The late Ken Robinson's ideas that education could kill creativity really chimed with me because when I was young I remember consciously working hard not to let creativity be stifled by the education system. Coming from a musical family who understood a composer's mindset maybe gave me a strange sense of confidence in my own process and a fond early memory of mine was sitting in a maths lesson about the age of 9 or 10 with a piece of manuscript paper secretly under my desk pretending to do algebra while composing under the desk whenever the teacher wasn't watching. I've always enjoyed the messy process of composing and I find it rewarding to create musical order essentially from disorder. I sit in my studio for several hours each day and work on many varied projects ranging from classical and choral commissions to commercial music and production music albums. This autumn I'm so delighted that Stainer and Bell are releasing two new Christmas carols which I've written during the Covid pandemic. Even though a choral Christmas may not happen this year, Christmas is a time of year that is incredibly dear to my heart and these two carols are both resolutely optimistic and upbeat imagining the time that choirs can sing safely again and offering hopefully an uplift at this difficult time for choirs and the music industry as a whole. I've also written a substantial Christmas work this year called The Shepherd's Tale with poet Matt Harvey. It was commissioned by Battersea Choral Society. We're absolutely delighted that Stainer and Bell are publishing these works and I hope you enjoy them as much as I have composing them. Wishing all very best to everybody and please keep well in these times.